Welcome to Project You. This podcast explores how integrating changes into your day can produce the best in health, longevity, and performance. We've recruited experts from around the globe who unleash their wisdom to transform your world. Project You dives into how to live a fully optimized life and uncovers tools and techniques to unleash your maximum potential. You only get one shot at this life. So let's get started. Welcome to episode 20 of the Project You podcast. I hope this episode finds you having an outstanding week. And I want to get into a little bit about body and nutrition in this short solo round here. And for those of you who saw my posting on SlideShare about, I call it uh, avoid this bone melting beverage, I understand that this topic may not resonate with some of you, but just bear with me, listen to the end, and I think that you'll kind of grasp the information here because it's uh, pretty startling based on sound uh, research, and and so let's get into it. Milk, it does the body good. You've seen it. Your kids have seen it. It's in sports magazines. It's on billboards. We have Olympic caliber athletes and beyond that are touting the mouth, the um, milk mustache, And I have to say that I have had maybe one or two glasses of milk in the last four or five years, usually in a sleep-deprived state after working a busy ER shift, sort of the treat or reward for a a hard night's work. And so a couple weeks ago, I had a little carton of chocolate milk. Uh, Yeah, it tasted good. And about a half hour later, I was sick, and I'm not lactose intolerant. But that's beside the point. What I want to really get into is what milk does to the body. I'm talking cow's milk. I'm not talking nut milk or almond milk, things like that, because I absolutely love nut milk, and I'll get into that a little bit at the end. But keep in mind that we are the only species on the planet that drinks another species' milk. Milk is acidic, and our body likes to function in a more of an alkaline pH, which is more plant-based. Our our systems, our hormones, our machinery just works better in an alkaline environment. Acidic Loads placed on the body, usually through diet and stress, are detrimental not only to performance, but also health and longevity. For example, when you take in an acidic food or drink or beverage, your body has to buffer. It has to neutralize that acid. It has to do something with it. And the most readily available source is the bone. And so it pulls calcium out of the bone, which weakens the bone. And so although the common adage that we see in advertising is that milk, it does the body good, I think that's a far cry from reality based on this. This study done and published in the British Medical Journal studied almost 100,000 patients, probably about 60-some 60, 60 thousand women over 20 years and 40-some uh, thousand men over about 11 years. And here's what they found. I think it's sort of startling. Cow's milk equals an increased risk of the following. Fractures and death. Hip fractures went up by 60% and other fractures... Other broken bones increased by 16%. This was published in the British Medical Journal recently. This isn't my data. This is in the scientific literature. And uh, premature death is associated with consumption of cow's milk. It has a significant increase in the risk of death, and I'll tell you why. One glass of milk equals an increase in 15% of death from heart disease, heart attack, things like that. One glass bumps up the risk of cancer by 7%. Push up the daily intake to three glasses of cow's milk and the risk of death, get this, the risk of death jumps up 93%. That's, if that doesn't scare you, I'm not sure what will. Men, the data wasn't as uh, drastic, but still certainly there. Three glasses of milk per day in the men studied in this, this study had a 10% increased risk of death. And so all this is presented in the British Medical Journal. The study came out at the end of 2014, and I just wanted to bring that to light. And so um, that brings me on to nut milk. There are a variety of, of different types of nut milk, whether it's almond, cashew, um, there's hemp milk, there's rice milk. Keep in mind that the packaging plays a role in the health of it. Just because uh, there's a positive ingredient in something, doesn't mean that the whole thing is beneficial. So look at the label. Look at the sugar content. That's the main thing I want to get out of you to get out of this is that, uh, you know, certainly nut milk is healthy. It's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for the heart and the brain. But if it's laced with sugar, high fructose corn syrup, cane syrup, cane sugar, uh, a lot of other ways that advertising will play on, on sugar and kind of twist it into a modified form that in the essence, it's still sugar. It's not healthy. So my recommendation and what 
we do in our house is we buy the unsweetened milk. Uh, I really like almond milk, and it took about about a month to get our kids off of cow's milk. There was some grumbling and groaning along the way, but now that they have consistently been using almond milk and some rice milk and occasionally cashew milk for cereal and just drinking for meals and whatnot, they really can't stand the taste of cow's milk. Couple that with the amount of not only toxins and antibiotics, there's also a fair number of xeno biotics in milk. Xenobiotics are, are detrimental to your health. They damage your body, damage your DNA. And so that's a whole other topic and lecture, podcast, whatever, in itself. So I hope you found some value in this. And um, the slide shares are up for you, those of you who are interested in seeing a little bit more on the data. It's also on the blog. And uh, a small portion of this is included in the Men's Health 1.0 course. You can find links to that on the blog at Mitchell MD. We're over on Udemy and uh, be working on getting the, the courses onto the, uh, the website to make it a little bit easy to navigate and also uh, offering a, a, a big discount code for any of you who want to join in the uh, courses that I offer there. So thanks and have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to this episode of Project U. Head over to iTunes and leave a review or join the conversation on the blog at MitchellMD.com. Have a great week.